Well, I kind of want to start with that exciting time that's around here. Uh, congratulating Coach Izzo on another uh, NCAA tournament. So impressive, 26 straight. That is uh, phenomenal. Also want to congratulate uh, Robin and women's basketball. I mean, first season here and going to the tournament. Best of luck and congratulations to really hockey and uh, gymnastics this weekend. Uh, big time stuff going on around here. And so, yeah, we are trying to mix in a little bit of football and excited to get started tomorrow. Uh, go tomorrow, five straight weeks. Uh, feels like a long time coming to get to working with these guys on the field. I know they're excited. We had a team meeting just, just finished up, but going over a couple of things and it all begins uh, tomorrow. And then uh, we'll see what it looks like, man. We've got some work to do. I, I'm excited to, to dive in it with these guys. These guys are excited to get on the field and uh, compete, but also improve hopefully from practice one to, to practice 15. But I'd love to take some questions. I guess, where, what's the feel right now, given it's been, what, a couple months now, and, and you guys have gone through your strength and conditioning program. Just, you know, how much has changed? You guys feel more comfortable with you and your staff and a new strength and conditioning coach and kind of all of that. Yep, I do think that uh, they did a great job in the weight room starting early in January. Uh, solid months of work, getting into shape, bigger, stronger, faster, you know, prepping their bodies for the wear and tear of what spring ball looks like. Communication, just knowing each other better and better over the last couple of months, I think it's in a good place there. And this is kind of next in the progression to start working on the football side. Jonathan, so much to learn in the next five weeks, but what do you actually know about your players now, what you've learned? You feel confident? I feel, feel confident that football means a lot to these guys. Uh, they've been in the offices, they want to get to knowing these teams and working really hard at it. Uh, so I, I know that about this group, that football means a lot. So now we're going to be able to practice with them and go. They're, they're anxious to show that, uh, you know, athletically, but they have shown to me a deep, uh, deep desire for football. Well, the, you dropped that word excitement two or three times. I just wanted to touch on personally your excitement about what you've been with the team and you've recruited, you've been on the job. But tomorrow is your first day on the field with your team. What's that like for you as a new coach? Yeah, you know, uh, I'm eager to just kind of learn. Uh, what, what it's like out there. Uh, again, this is why you, you sign up. And this is why I chose to coach, is to truly coach and get on the field with them and watching them interact and compete and learn and grow. And so I'm, I'm looking forward to that part. Know that I'm gonna learn from practice one to practice 15, just like we're asking them to, to improve one to 15. Uh, but you know, yeah, I've been here, it's gone fast, three months or whatnot, but this is the, the next progression for me personally now to be able to get on, a, on the field with them. Wondering about the the reset in the quarterback room and, and bringing in Aiden, uh, bringing in the other guys, and just how big, critical these early practices are for those guys in just establishing themselves on the field and as leaders. Yeah, it's it's really important for obviously every position group, but you mentioned that one in particular. There is it's important to get adjusted. It's so much communication, just even for the simple call to play in the huddle, read the signal. Uh, that part's uh, vitally important early on so we can function at a high level. Those guys have been working hard now. They've been in the, in the you know, meeting, getting around Coach Lindgren, trying to learn as much as they can on this offense and stuff. So it makes sense to, to see him go tomorrow. Can you tell us about uh, Aiden as a player and a um, uh, person and, and how key it is for you in your first year to have a quarterback who knows you and knows the system? Yeah. He, well, starting with the type of person he is, a great person. I think he's a you know a guy that guys like to be around, enjoy kind of his temperament. And again, football means a ton, but he doesn't take it too seriously. I think he's fitting in really well. Uh, and really, that whole room itself, the QB room. Again, I go back to the work ethic. Uh, they've been working at it. Aiden does got some advantage. He knows some of the terminology already, and so excited for him for you know, being a first year player last year to taking another step in year two, and and then the, the leadership will come through because of us understanding the comfort level of the scheme, but also his experience. And he understands it's not just about him. It's about the guys around him and, and the other QBs in the room. Um, kind of speaking with uh, about Aiden doing so, and, and but other positions, you know, knowing the scheme, knowing what you guys are doing, do you see him kind of, you know, helping the guys along, you know, this and that, and then, and then the other position groups too, because you got, you know, a whole new offensive staff, minus Courtney, and then yeah, yeah. From there. You know, with the offensive side, yeah, we got to, Offensive staff, four or five guys know the scheme inside and out because they've been working them together. We do got three players on offense that know this scheme. You know, you have tight end with Valley and Tanner at 
feel why, but I've, I have been impressed with the, the guys that have been here in a year or two. Again, I go back to how much they love football because they've been trying to dive into it. Think about the, we got some experience at the linebacker position, you know, with Cal and that group, the inside linebackers being in Rossi's office nonstop and diving into it. And I could go on and on. Um, but yeah, I think it's a group that loves football and is anxious to, to continue to learn and dive into it more. John, I'm wondering, uh, how would you sort of describe your ideal sort of teaching progression, I guess, for this spring? Do you want to just throw it all on them and see what sticks, or do you sort of portion it out and say, let's just master this chunk in spring, and then we have August, obviously, to, to get the rest up to speed? I think in this year one, the approach is going to be a little bit smaller at a time, not throw it all at them at once, because you are trying to evaluate and see what, we, what we've got. And so if you throw the whole thing at them, it's hard to evaluate each individual position if they're thinking the whole time. And so the approach, especially early in the first half of spring, will be smaller bits than maybe more. You mentioned about Joe. Uh, he's obviously a guy that you hadn't worked with previously. I'm wondering how that relationship developed because he spoke very highly of it being connected so quickly between the two of you guys. And then also, when it comes to having a new coordinator that you haven't worked with, where's the level of autonomy that he gets with the defense and how much do you really try and just figure out what's next with yeah. that? Uh, I'm sorry. Where it started with Joe is, uh, you know, just reputation, calling around uh, other guys that have worked with him, worked under him, uh, just repeated the same type of you know, quality man, really smart, uh, knows the scheme inside and out, knows the conference really well. And so those things have all played out true on my end. Our communication, I feel like, has been great. He's got some real autonomy on that side of the ball. You know, we've got some big picture items that, you know, need, need to fall under, but, you know, hired him to do a job has been great in regards to, you know, Leadership, I think communication amongst that defensive staff because there's some new new pieces for him on that side, uh, and I feel that he's really organized and, and ready to go tomorrow. Jonathan, every job is different, but what can you apply from the turnaround in Corvallis to your situation right here? Yeah, you know, I think you're always learning from every experience, and you know, Prius, the you know, just started first time head coach, you learn a bunch in the first couple of years, definitely applying some of the things I've learned. At, through that experience, um, being new to a place, didn't recruit the, the locker room, been through that experience, and so we're applying some of that and trying to work to build some trust, learn some stories, because we didn't go through a year or two year recruiting process with these guys. Um, and so we're trying to make gains that way, and I learned that from the first time doing it. A lot of the players and coaches talked about um, the uh, fitting the personnel to the scheme and not the scheme to the personnel. How much is this spring practice kind of about figuring out what personnel you have and what their strengths are and, and such. Yeah, that's a big part of it, and that goes back to a little bit trying to keep it a little simpler early on to be able to evaluate the skill and the talent you got, and then you want to, you want to have the scheme to make sure it fits the talent we've got. I think our, our really on both sides of the ball, learning on the defensive side too, we've got enough in the package to be able to then, you know, focus on the talent we've had. And we've got to find that out this spring where, where our strengths are and what things we need to improve on. And as particularly, how do you marry that, especially, I mean, given the, I guess, maybe the deficiencies in the running game and maybe even the tight end play last year and trying to improve that since that's obviously a core part of your offense and yeah. what, what you've done in the past? Uh, you know, we are going to try to establish the physical at the line of scrimmage that goes into the, to the run game, but also in the way we pass protect. It's really of all 11 players playing physical. And so you, you mentioned the whole line tight end. Yeah, those guys. Want to make a thing physical, and I think we got some guys in the room want to do the same thing. Time for a couple more. Brett? I know position battles bear out through the spring and even the summer, but at quarterback, I mean, Aiden's the guy, right? I mean, it'll be an upset if he's not your starting quarterback, right? I, I describe it as an upset if he's not. Uh, again, we're going to give opportunity to those guys to go out and, and compete and get reps and all of those things. Is he ready to take on that role, do you think? Well, we're going to find out here. Again, start uh, tomorrow. We're confident that, you know, I think about Aiden yet and his progression, uh, where he's headed, I feel confident he, he can be a really good player. I look at Tommy's experience and what he's done at uh, another place for a long period of time. He's got some proven experience of doing it. And it's reason why we recruit uh, other kids to give him the opportunity to become the guy. Wrap it up with Steven. Jonathan, I'm just wondering the sort of state of overall health of the roster is. Anybody that won't be there, anybody that we didn't see, you know, sort of the end of last year, that's still 
Just what can you say, I guess, about those statements? Yeah, I'll, I'll kind of be general with it. There's definitely some guys that will have a limited fashion, uh, you know, still working their way, their way back. I think overall, I feel pretty good uh, in the state of the injuries that will have the majority of those guys out there going. All right, thanks, Coach. Okay. Thank you. I'll send an email tomorrow. We'll be open in the morning for a few minutes. I know we'll have some players available. I'll send that out here this afternoon.